Chandra Napolitano joins us, Fox News senior judicial analyst, host of Fox Nation's Liberty File. Uh, Judge, always good to see you. Likewise. Uh, Robert, in uh, setting this up, talking about defamation, brings up what I always think is kind of an interesting discussion in these uh, suits, is that it, it matters whether the person is a so-called public figure or not, but will it matter much in this case? Well, I think it, it does and it will. I mean, in a, to, to sue a public, or for a public figure to sue, the bar is very, very high. Uh, you would have to show that Elon Musk published this knowing it was false or with reckless disregard for its falsity. Stated differently, public figures don't sue because it's in a nearly impossible standard. But when the judge said that Unsworth, though he was involved in a public event, though he entered the event voluntarily, though he entered the event with the intent of affecting the outcome, which had a happy outcome, is not a public figure. Therefore, under California laws, a federal court applying California state law, uh, Unsworth only has to show simple negligence on mm -hmm. the part of Elon Musk. Now, it's interesting. This is the plaintiff's case. Who was the plaintiff's first witness? Elon Musk. This is very dangerous and very bold of plaintiff's lawyers to call the defendant as their first witness, particularly somebody right. who's as uncontrollable and volatile as he is. They're trying to get him to admit that there was no basis for him to call Unsworth pedo so, guy. So should Elon Musk then be be worried about this? I mean, I think if it was a total disaster, the stock price of Tesla may have been down a lot today. And in fact, it was, strangely enough, up in a, in a, in a down market. But you know, that doesn't always tell you everything. But should Musk be worried? Well, the second part of their strategy is to show that <laughs> nobody takes Musk seriously uh, in his tweets. And therefore, while there may have been absolutely no basis whatsoever to use Pedo Guy, there also was next to no damages as a result of it. Hmm. So Unsworth may get a Pyrrhic victory. You know, the jury may say, you're right, you were defamed, but what did you lose? Right. That, that's the hope and expectation and plan of defense counsel. All right. Uh, we'll follow it. Obviously, we're also following impeachment. I do want to ask you about the development of the day today from the uh, Intelligence Committee in the House of Representatives releasing its report, which, as I understand it, now sets up the possible articles of impeachment. What's the takeaway, the big takeaway uh, from this today, from, from your vantage point? There's exceptional detail in there about which we did not know uh, and about which uh, no one on the committee uh, discussed personally that uh, involves uh, the trigger person at all this, Rudy Giuliani. There are hundreds of emails and phone calls uh, which were examined by um, investigators for the committee which tie the president to uh, uh, Mayor Giuliani and Mayor Giuliani to all the players on the ground. I wouldn't say this is an airtight case, but it's a far stronger case than the one we thought the Democrats had. <laughs>